What's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel. I am Lonnie from Flight Sim Gaming. Today we are operating United Express. Uh, flying out here from OKC all the way up to Chicago. O'Hare is where we're uh, arriving into. It's where we'll fly flown by United Express or SkyWest. It's contracted by SkyWest, another SkyWest flight. Here in the uh, E-175. Um, again, real world flight. Flown out of OKC up to Chicago O'Hare. We're going to be doing two legs today in this video. So it's going to be quite the long video. Um, as promised, we were making that trip uh, back to the East Coast. Out from the West Coast. And two legs. First leg is OKC over to Chicago. And then we're going Chicago to Ottawa. And that will sort of conclude our uh, E-Jets flights no, for the time being, we will be back in this aircraft um, in the near future. It's obviously one that I like to keep in my back pocket. Uh, today's flight time, I believe air time is about an hour and 38 minutes. So not a relatively long journey all the way up to Chicago. We are going to break this video up into uh, two segments. Uh, it's going to be continuous flight. So basically, once we you know start deboarding out in Chicago, we're going to get it. Get it all configured and set back up for our flight out to Ottawa. Phoenix has released the A321 and the A319 aircraft, so I am very excited to be hopping into that aircraft. We're going to be doing a live stream this coming Friday with the A321. We're flying Air Transat. Uh, kind of an odd flight. Didn't even know it existed, but basically it's going to be from Montreal to Lima, Peru via Montego Bay. Kind of a weird flight, so it's like I think it's like four and a half, five hours to to, to Mo Bay or something like that um, from Montreal, and then I think it's another four hours to Lima, Peru. And I got some great scenery in Lima. Um, I believe Mo Bay. It's gonna be we're gonna be using the 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 handcrafted default one that came with the uh, Caribbean update. So uh, stay tuned for that. Like I said, it's an odd flight. Just trying to decide what you know what flight I wanted to do. Uh, you know. Air Transat's operating some A321 Neos Transatlantic, and I'm pretty sure there are some carriers out here in the U.S. that operate uh, Transatlantic in the uh, A321 CEOs. I think JetBlue operates. I think it's Boston over to. Uh, can't remember for, if, if it was London Heathrow or if it was uh, Gatwick. I'm not too sure. Um, but I've decided to opt for this flight. It's a little different. You know, we're going out to South America. We're going to check out Lima, Peru. Some great scenery. And then we're going to be heading over to Europe um, next week. And we're going to be doing some flights out in Europe in the, in the baby bus. As well as in the A321. Getting ourselves familiar with the aircraft. I'm not going to fly the aircraft. I'm basically just going to... We're going to roll into the live stream on, on, on Friday. It's going to be starting a little bit earlier than usual. Because it's probably going to be about a 10-hour stream. And we're going to basically... Let the aircraft take its course, ladies and gents. That's sort of the plan. But anyways, let's up inside the aircraft. Let's get this aircraft all ready to go here. So we'll come over to the EFB here. First things first. Fit details. We'll import the flight plan. As you can see, Will Rogers over to O'Hare. We'll check that off. We'll check all of that off. Beautiful. Come over to the departure tab here. We're expecting 1-7 left. Uh, it's dry out here. In OKC, the wind's currently 160 at 15. You can see the outside air temps 30 degrees. q &H. I don't know why it's not showing altimeter, but there you go. QNH 3016. We'll calculate that. And we'll instantly load. I'm going to recalculate and instantly load. I didn't see the aircraft dip down there. There's our V speeds, trims 3.5. We'll send, off, send that off to the McDo. Fantastic. We're not on Fat Sim, ladies and gents. Not today. Basically, it's just going to be me in the skies. Transponder. Uh, we'll go ahead. We'll squawk 2000. We'll put that in. Fantastic. Move to the root tab here. Uh, KORD. Chicago O'Hare. Today's call sign. SkyWest 5823. 5823. We're going to put that in our flight ID. We're going to send that off. go ahead and we'll apply the active fantastic come over to the departure tab here 
We are departing off of 1-7 left, and we are on the Trooper 3 RNAV departure with the um, get your transition. We'll apply that. In Chicago, we are expecting the ILS-27 center approach. And let me just open up some charts here. Let me see where we're going to come in from. Um, we'll just do vectors. Let's see what the flight plans show here. And it, it is on the uh, the Turtle 6 Welts transition. We'll apply that. We'll have a look at our flight plan. We'll make sure the aircraft is going to fly its course here. I don't want to be airborne. I don't want to have to clear some disc on. So we're going to go uh, Moon Trooper Corpse. Get your. And then it looks like a Welts. So from Get your, we're going to be headed on to the arrival coming in. Coming into Chicago Welts. Mick D. Uh, we got Cashin. Vinka, uh, so this is going to be our vectoring off, so, uh, Everything looks beautiful, ladies and gents. For the first time ever, the aircraft did what it needed to do. Hello. Not sure where that paper went. I didn't mean to click that. She's a goner. All right. Let's continue on here. Perfect in a tab here. Uh, what do we have for our fuels? We got, uh, it's always 163 or 200. Go ahead and plug that in, beautiful. Cruising up today, let's see, 35,000, 35,000, the average wind's 303, 6, beautiful, zero fuel weight plugged in, all of that looks fantastic, takeoff data set, let's come over here, we're going to confirm what we have, takeoff 2, 20.5 on the CG, I believe it's 30 degrees down in OKC. I don't think it's 15. Let's have a look at our METAR. So we got 30. We'll plug that in and we'll enter that. FMS takeoff. Come over to page one. Runway heading 176. Uh, the wind's 160 at 11. It's beautiful. Flaps to. Over the takeoff tab here, we got 31, 36, 43, 92. Forgot it. 36, 43, 92. Beautiful. 18,000. 18,000. That, uh, that is as good as it's going to get, ladies and gents. Come over to the map page here. Let's go ahead and clear some stuff. Auto brake over to RTO. So we're going to go flight director, auto throttle. Click that guy. Sometimes it comes on, sometimes it doesn't. Yaw dampener coming on. Uh, let's get our. So we're going to go 176 on the heading. That is runway heading. And it's radar vectors. I'll pull up the charts in a minute. It's radar vectors up to Trooper. 176 on the heading. We're going to do 180 on speed. And I believe initial climb is going to be 5 thou. Initial climb is 5 thou. Plug that in. We have our 
Uh, Q and H or altimeter three zero one six. That's plugged in there. Fantastic. We'll come up top here. Let's get our uh, Apu control on. Dude. Pretty, uh, pretty noisy. That's pretty good. Let's open up Navigraph here. Have a look at our, our departure. Like I said, we are on the Troop 3 r nav departure. Uh, runway heading. Probably make a, a left turn, 030 on the heading. Uh, up to Moon. Pretty straightforward. The winds are 160 at 11. Few clouds at 1,000, 18,000 feet. It's 30 degrees. Altimeter 3016. Beautiful. Let's go ahead, kill the GPU. Close up some of our doors here. Electric pump coming on, beacon light coming on. And we'll prepare for push. Curious to see how the A321 and the baby bus uh, A319 fly in comparison to the A320. We'll see. I'm sure there's some differences there when it comes to flight controls, but what do I know, right? Um, but I am pretty excited to finally get some air, proper air transit uh, ops out here on the channel, which is pretty cool. Hopefully they'll add a NEO variant, the NEO engine option, new engine option. That'd be pretty cool. Because then uh, pretty much a, there's, there's a lot of narrow body A321s crossing transatlantic. You've got uh, Air Transit has a bunch of them, Aerolingus flying some stuff, um, JetBlue, you know, I think uh, TAP Portugal's flying some stuff. So that'd be pretty neat to see. I know Scandinavian flies into Toronto. Um, with an A321 Neo. Forgot to add the trims there. There we go. Three and a half on the trims. Quick edit pushback. Let's see where we're going. Coming off. Push. All engines clear. Start at will. Engine number two. Don't forget, ladies and gents, if you're enjoying the content, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. We now ask for your 
attention as the cabin crew demonstrates the safety features of this aircraft. Please set parking brakes. Please do not use headphones during the demonstration. This aircraft is equipped with four main emergency exits, each of them marked with a red exit sign. Two at the front of the cabin, two at the rear of the cabin. There are also two emergency exits to the wings of the plane in the middle of the plane. Please I've noticed, uh, the last few flights in, in, in the U-175, I'm saying, uh, you know, after I'm touching down, I'm saying reverse out, or reverse green. Verses are not kicking off for some reason with my, uh, with my throttle. So I'm, I'm doing, trying to use idle reverse. I don't think it's working. I don't think there is an idle reverse. Um, to be honest, I don't even feel like sometimes this aircraft throws out reversers. Pretty sure I was watching, I was plane spotting in Toronto, and I had seen some E 175s land with no reverses out. Pretty strange. Two good engines, APU coming off, taxi lights coming on, lower lights coming on. Flaps two. Beauty. Open up Navigrav and have a look at where we're taxiing to. So one seven left. It's right there. We're gonna taxi apron. Uh, we'll go over to Echo. Left on Echo. We'll hold short Echo one onto the runway. Pretty straightforward. Have a good trip. Parking brake coming off. Take off. Okay. Take off. Okay, ladies and gents, let's get going. Echo here. Go ahead and make a left. Left on Echo.
We'll keep the aircraft at a reasonable taxiing speed here. up to echo one there use the whole runway on this departure ladies and gents Rest of our lights on. Yep, we are all lit up, ladies and gents. Beauty. Let's get ourselves situated here. Something like that, ladies and gents. Enjoy the departure. Ronald's going up. 40%. And Toga. Feet is in. We'll go flaps one. We can speed up two ten. We'll go flaps clean. Very bumpy coming out here. We'll go two thirty on the speed. Two fifty on speed, beautiful. Autopilot coming on, bring you back upstairs. Let's go ahead and kill off some lights here. Beautiful departure, ladies and gents. We're on heading zero five zero, and we'll go direct moon. Nav mode is in. about that. Gets real busy with this aircraft real fast, ladies and gents. Gets real busy real fast. Got to make sure you're, you know, you had its full attention. You know what I mean?
pretty sure that's an Air Force base. Send her up to 90 on the speed. Come up top here, let's kill the rest of our lights. Beautiful, ladies and gents. Beautiful departure. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take the aircraft up to 35,000 feet. And I'll catch y'all on the descent into Chicago. Don't forget, we're doing two legs on this uh, on this flight, lady, or on this video, ladies and gents. Two legs. We're going to be flying. Um, so we're going to spend a little bit of time down in Chicago. We're headed out east to Ottawa. So stay tuned for that. I'll catch y'all in a bit, ladies and gents. Enjoy the rest of the video. Peace. What's going on ladies and gents welcome back to the video we are on the descent into chicago just past 25,000 feet flight level, flight level 250 we're descending on the turtle 6 rnf arrival we are expecting the ils 27 center approach coming into beautiful chicago let's open up navigraph kind of see what we're expecting coming in beautiful so as you can see we are on the turtle 6 rnav arrival i started my descent at vinca so from 35,000 feet, I did my math. The math is math, and ladies and gents. And I have decided that at Vinca, that's where I had to make my descent to meet some of these altitude restraints. You got a turtle, you got to be at 11,000 feet. And then we're basically going to fly probably about, I don't know, 40 miles till Rhino. Where we'll start a descent again. We're going to go down about 4,000 feet. We'll come downwind around downtown core. Um, that's kind of how the arrival is going to look. This is the approach here. So it's a long approach. No, no, 20, it's 20 plus miles out. We're going to vector ourselves probably towards Jimbo or Murph. Cut ourselves in. We're going to pass the downtown core, cut ourselves in. That's sort of the plan there. Uh, what do we got going up up here? We have um, in our minimums there of 853 feet. Got our local frequency uh, 111.9. The winds are 220 at 13, gusting 22. I emphasize that gusting. It's gonna that's gonna kick our ass coming in. Every time I'm flying this aircraft, I feel like I can't catch a freaking break. Um, so we're not looking for the butter, ladies and gents. We're just uh, we're gonna get the gears down, and uh, hopefully we're not visiting the chiropractor at the end of it. It's 34 degrees, altimeter 3001. After our debrief, debrief there, we gotta go ahead and set up the aircraft here. So I've already done some stuff here. Uh, I've set my um, 
my courses here of 273 or two, uh, heading 273. That's the uh, that's the funnel approach course. You got to set that in this aircraft prior to forming an ILS approach. Um, minimums 850 is bugged in there. Auto brake set to low. Come over to the perf tab here, the perf index. We'll come over to the landing tab. And we'll just make sure all of this info is incorrect. 220 at 13, everything's looking fantastic. It calculates a VAP of 136, obviously plus 5 on that. And our nav frequency 111 decimal 9. Sometimes the auto uh, the auto nav doesn't kick on. Sometimes you have to put it in manually. It did not kick on for me. It had the wrong frequency in there. So generally at about 80 miles out, it would whatever reason, it would have the actual frequency plugged in. But always double check that and make sure... It is what uh, it is what it's supposed to be. Coming up on eighteen thousand feet, I'm actually going to go ahead and we're going to plug in our LT three zero zero one. Fantastic. We're still maintaining two hundred and ninety knots. Um, we're a little fast at the moment. Don't need to stress out about that. Beautiful approach coming in. I haven't uh, done a real flight over here into into Chicago O'Hare but some practice landings and such it's actually a pretty good airport some of the taxiways don't line up uh, with the Navigraph charts so keep in mind uh, yeah, I forget which part of the airport but uh, yeah pretty standard approach coming in I'm gonna cut the video to one video ladies and gents I'm not doing a second leg I mean, uh, hold on uh, it was supposed to be a one video the whole time. I'm going to cut the legs down to one leg. I'm not doing two legs. I know at the beginning of the video I did say we we're going to do that flight out to Ottawa. I'm going to do another flight um, for our live stream on Friday with that additional flight. I just don't have the time today. Things got caught up. And uh, I do apologize for that. So for now, we'll stick with the one flight. Uh, we'll continue on with the um, E-Jets content. We're going to do one more flight in the coming days, Chicago over to Ottawa, uh, and then we'll jump into the Phoenix A321. Plan is to do a strange route. If you're just tuning in, I might have said at the beginning of the uh, video, I can't remember. Doing a strange flight from Montreal to Lima uh, with Air Transat, and Air Transat does operate flights out to Lima. They do it from Toronto as well. Uh, but this flight specifically is flown in the A321 CEO, and they do a stopover in Montego Bay. We haven't been to Montego Bay yet here on the channel. I haven't even flown into that airport. I've landed in there. You know, I've done some practice landings just to kind of see how the airport is and such because I believe there's a handcrafted airport that came up with the Caribbean update. But I haven't actually done a flight uh, into Mobe. I've flown many a times into Kingston, Jamaica, but uh, this will be new. And it's going to be a live stream, so I'm going to be starting it a little bit earlier. Probably at around, I would say, 8 or 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That'll give us enough time. It's going to be about a 9-10 hour uh, live stream. And that's sort of what is planned. So I haven't flown the A321 yet. I'm deciding whether or not I should. Maybe just to familiarize myself. I know some some streamers are having a hard time with the new Phoenix aircraft. Uh, the A319 uh, is a little stiff when landing. And the A321, you can you know, tail strike it. So see what happens but I like surprises uh, I'm gonna wind the speed back down we'll get it down to 270 yeah not too many um, a321 CEOs flying around with air transit at the moment I got a lot of neo jets hopefully Phoenix will Provide us with some Neo engines. That would be nice. A lot of transatlantic flights happening on those narrow body aircraft now. Good-looking scenery coming in here. I think we've stopped at 11,000. 
5,000 feet. And yeah, we're coming up on it now. I'm not going to start my descent again, like I said, until Rhino. So we got to be at 11,000. I think this is for in case of a runway change. In case you got to vector yourselves to land on the opposite runway, they want you at 11,000 feet at Turtle. The one thing that bugs me with this aircraft, you can see there, I know we've passed a waypoint. Anytime it passes a waypoint, it does, uh, you can be going in the same heading too. Right? And it just does this little, I don't know, whatever, oscillating thing. Don't forget, ladies and gents, if you're enjoying the content, smash down that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. I would greatly appreciate that. Beautiful outskirts of Chicago, the windy city. Hence, uh, hence the, the the weather coming in. Not the weather, the wind. I meant. It is it is called the windy city for a reason. Mind you, I've been to Chicago. I don't I don't recall experiencing any heavy winds out here. But uh, the name says uh, says it all for this for this arrival coming in. Two twenty at thirteen gusting twenty two. It's it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a difficult landing. Now, hopefully, this aircraft will fly this approach. I have a feeling. I have a strong feeling. As I transition downwind, I'm probably gonna have to go in heading mode. This aircraft can be buggy at times. You can be flying this approach. Uh, you might be a couple waypoints downwind, and then all of a sudden, the aircraft will veer off course or change direction so nice little tip when you're on downwind I just, for any arrival I just recommend switch over your heading over to that whatever course that you're on and just be prepared to hit that, uh, that heading button once you pass Rhino we'll probably descend at about uh, 800 feet per minute bring us out over the water you can see the, the actual airfield right here so it'll bring us out over the water and then we'll kind of anchor ourselves in and then it's quite the long taxi back around ladies and gents we're taxiing to terminal 2 I believe uh, stand or gate F1 that's where the real world aircraft last deboarded from Passing another waypoint.
see where we are coming up on Rhino. We're not too far on these jets. Another 12 and a half miles. Take it down to 4,000 feet. Should bring us in for a nice little vector coming in. There's the airfield out there. It's actually a pretty good scene. Needs to be updated. Like I said, I'm pretty sure they uh, they've sort of changed their airport layout so the Navigraph charts doesn't doesn't line up with the actual airfield. So I believe it's Dominic Design Team or something like that that did this airport. It's a V2 version. It's pretty nice. There we go, we're gonna go uh, vertical speed. And I'll go down at about 800 feet per minute. Slow down 250 knots. And let's get our landing lights on. Beautiful day out here in Chicago. Clear skies, other than some wind. I'd like to think this is broken right now. It says my altitude is 36,000 feet. That is clearly not uh, not true got to think of a new overlay ladies and gents for uh, for my for my videos and streams and I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in heading mode right now. We're gonna get a nice, beautiful visual of the downtown area. The buildings haven't populated in. You can see some visuals coming in there. You got the, the boats, but uh, we're missing the downtown core. Bam. Don't ask, ladies and gents, I don't have any scenery out here. I have to wait for the photogrammetry to kick in. Oh, 
I'll get the speed down to 210. Always got to appreciate uh, you know, the views when you're going over a downtown city or a downtown core. I'm pretty sure this is default buildings. I don't think I have any of this. I think Sam Senior is a default. see where we're at what do we got 6800 feet we're descending I can actually uh, I'll increase the rate of descent Left turn here. Probably gonna go left turn three three zero. Get ourselves uh, nicely established for lope. that turn right now. Left turn three, three, zero. We're going to keep 4,000 bugged in here. Winds are still 220 at 13, gusting 22. I'm excited. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 
go VL. I like Loc 1. And we'll go approach mode. When the aircraft's ready, it'll capture that Loc and then we should be good. And you can see we're just below the glide at the moment, so not a terrible vector in. I'll take it all day. Hey, does this mean accept approach speed? I'm not too sure what that means. Uh, landing, we got all that info plugged in here. 136 is VAP plus 5, so 141. And there we go, Loc is captured. And I'm going to start sinking my heading. 273 is final approach course. We're leveled off at 4,000 feet. Let's brief our missed approach here. Let's climb to 1100, then climbing right turn to 4000 on heading 290. So I'm actually going to do. We'll change this to 290, just because this aircraft is pretty buggy. So uh, if need be, we're going to go in heading mode. We got to uh, do a missed. Beauty. Lots one, speed check. I think Jimbo is going to make us about 10 miles up. There's that beautiful downtown area. Very nice. Glass slow should be coming in momentarily. There's glide slope, get the rest of our lights on. Lovely. Good one. Laps two. Speed check 170. See that wind pushing this aircraft around. Should be good news. Should be good news. Laps three. Twenty five hundred feet, gear coming down. Laps four. Flaps 5, gear down 3 green. Flaps 5 is indicated, ladies and gents. All of our signs are on. And we're just, uh, just going to wait it out here.
case of a missed approach, we're going to climb um, runway heading to 1100, then a right turn 290 up to 4000 feet. And we'll bring ourselves back around. Beauty. Is gonna make me work for this one, ladies and gents. Enjoy the arrival. Autopilot. High aircraft. Autopilot. Can't see Pappy's yet. One thousand. One thousand checked. Whites, two reds. Wide slope looking good. Coming out 322. Holy shit! 70 knots checked. Wow, bring you back up top there, ladies and gents. That's all I gotta say is wow, probably one of my worst landings ever in this aircraft. Vacate Echo 2. Well, ladies and gents, welcome down to Chicago. Make sure to drop you guys off right at the chiropractor. Two, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, we'll take Romeo. Flight time one hour forty minutes. I believe we're three minutes early. I don't know. It just uh, it seemed weird to flare that. I don't know if there's an issue with the runway or whatnot, but um, felt like it was going to be a butter. All right, let's pick our gate here. So we're going uh, concourse F, gate F1, knighted. Let's go ahead and cross uh, 09 right, 27 left. Go ahead, we'll hang a left on to 
want to golf. Wide turn there. And I'll make a little shortcut here onto Uniform. Th what is this? Uniform 3. I don't know if I can in real life, but. Uh, Charts is telling me no. I'm going to take it anyway. So what do we got here? We got a minus 322, 1.34 G's. Go ahead, we'll hang it right onto Quebec here. So they weren't happy back there. Hopefully the flight into Ottawa will uh, be much better. Spool up that APU. We're going to go around the terminal here. We're looking for Concourse uh, Terminal 2, actually. Concourse F. It's all the way around, ladies and gents. All in all, pretty decent flight here. Coming into Shy Town, I can guarantee you, with the way those winds are acting on departure, this aircraft would probably be a handful. So I'm kind of glad we're not. Uh, kind of glad we're not flying out to Ottawa. Alpha 11. I believe we want Alpha 12. So we'll keep her trucking. Should be the next one.
we are going somewhere up here. I think it's this gate right here. Parking brake coming on, beauty. They told me I fucked up the parking. Let's go ahead and kill the engines. You got the APU on, beacon light coming off, fast and seatbelt lights coming off. Let's go ahead and hook up the GPU. It's available. And request the We gotta go ahead and open up these. Still broken. Opening this, opening, opening these gates here, or not these gates, these doors here. You gotta open up these doors here um, to prevent the yapping coming from GSX. But anyways, there we have it, ladies and gents. Overall, pretty decent flight. Can't complain. Like I said, that's gonna conclude the video. I don't have time to do the second leg, unfortunately, but I'll make sure to get a video out before we do that. Uh, that A321 live stream. I just want to take time to uh, thank everybody for coming out. Enjoy that uh, that little flight there. Go ahead, and smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you have not for more uh, flights and e jets content. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.